Assalamu alaikum and hello viewers. Today I am with you. <clears throat> Another very important video that is how to be well prepared or step by step preparation procedure for a job interview. Actually, many of researchers, academicians requested me to upload a video on how to be well prepared for a job interview. Based on their request, I feel that this is an important aspect that need to be uh, uploaded for the benefit of young researcher, early career researcher. Even I feel this might be useful for higher level of positions, for example, associate professor, professor level. So what is the main purpose of this uh, uh, video? <clears throat> Through this uh, video, by exploring this video, my intention is that you can uh, convince the panel that you are the right person for the position they are looking for. You can convince them, you can show your competency, you are the right person for the position. This is basically the main purpose of this uh, video. <clears throat> So these are the basically the, the main points, main outlines of my presentation. So of course, preparation is very much needed. It is very important. I will highlight this aspect as well, how to be, how to be well prepared. Uh, of course, uh, what is your educational background, strength, etc. Uh, so your teaching experience and what are the recognition you have. Of course, there are research element, uh, research experience, recognition also you need to be highlighted, contribution to the society, and you may have some other contribution which I have not highlighted or I am also not aware. Maybe you have some unique other contribution. It all, always will be better, good that you can uh, highlight all other contributions as well. Uh, and also at the end of presentation, probably an attractive or appealing user plan may entice, uh, may give you a good impression that you really have very good plan uh, to join uh, this uh, institute or universities. So now let me explore more details about all these uh, seven points. That's why I call it step-by-step -step procedure. So I'll explain all these seven step, steps as much as possible. So number one is the preparation. Uh, it is always good that you do your homework. Without doing homework, if you go for interview, even some basic questions, you will not be able to answer. Uh, panel members actually will be looking for that uh, you are really interested for that university, for that position, so that you have done the necessary homework. You know the university, you know the organization, why you are interested with that university, with that organization, what actually enticed you, what attracted you. So if you do some homework about the university, about the organization, you identify some unique features, uniqueness that fit you, and maybe you can get some more information also from social media, some university, basically some units, uh, share their uh, information in the social media, such as LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, maybe you can get some necessary imp information from there as well. Uh, this is in general about the university because sometimes panel members are from the uh, uh, higher level, higher authority. So they may also ask about the university, about the whole organization. In addition to that, uh, the, the general case, you also need to know more about the faculty, school, department, center, where you are interested. What are their uniqueness? Uh, what are the facilities they have? Why? Uh, the, the, what are the key things that attracted you? And what are the facilities, resources that actually will help you to grow and is similar or uh, in line with your plan, in line with your expertise and so on? Try to impress the uh, panel member that you really have done your homework. You are very much well aware of this university. This university center institute has some unique uh, features, 
unique capabilities, unique resources. So that actually will help you to grow for your future growth. And you can really contribute for that university and institute or that center. Explore research and teaching areas where you are fit. This is very important uh, because if your expertise, if your uh, recognition, if your profile does not fit, certainly you are not the right person. So that's why you need to study, you need to know each and every details uh, in relation with your research and teaching experience. Sometimes uh, academician, job seeker uh, actually want to work with us without uh, proper homework and when panel member ask, uh, <clears throat> have you done homework? Why you are interested? For example, somebody want to work in the area of civil engineering, but we don't have the civil engineering, meaning that you have not done your homework and now you are uh, trying to uh, look for a job at, uh, at uh, School of Engineering at the uh, civil engineering side. So this is the reason you need to really explore where you are fit, where is your interest and so on, so that you can give the best possible answer. <clears throat> identify few relevant academician in your area. Sometimes maybe you can identify why also you are interested. Maybe you can highlight that there are potential people, there are world-renowned people in this university that entice me, meaning that I also can be, uh, I also can grow. This is a good place to grow and also this may be helpful for you also to highlight that I will work with this world-class uh, researcher, world-renowned researcher. So this will be a collaborative work and this is basically will entice you that, uh, entice the panel member that he has identified all the necessary research area, teaching area. He knows about the university. He also identified the people with whom he can work and so on. Since there are positions for teaching and research, uh, it is always good that you know actually the what is the position given for you. Is it really focused for teaching only or research only or both? This is very important so that you can be well prepared. Okay, so if the position is for teaching, but your presentation, your discussion, your most of the uh, uh, things are related to the research. I'm sure this, is, this will not entice, this will not impress because this is something mismatch. Uh, I remember when I uh, was interviewed for an academic position, uh, it was for teaching, but I highlighted more about research and then I did not get. Uh, okay, so if uh, the teaching focus position, as you know, some universities are very much focused with the teaching, you have to know, you have to ask them also, is it for only teaching? Is it only for research? If you are confused, you can ask them before uh, interview. Okay, by knowing that actually you can be well prepared and you can make all the presentation, all the content in relation with uh, the teaching focus. So if this is teaching focus, emphasize more on teaching activities, recognition that you have. Of course, uh, research is also part of teaching. So you can highlight with minor that I also engage in teaching. Uh, sorry, I also engage in research that might be useful for final year projects, capstone projects, and so on. If it is for research focus, uh, I strongly would suggest that uh, your presentation, your discussion uh, must be uh, the, uh, with your uh, strong uh, activities, recognition, uh, achievements in relation with the uh, research. Of course, you also can highlight that I am also interested to teach I also have some experience, but highlight, I mean 80 to 90% focus, activities, presentation content should be aligned with the research. Also in some universities, and this is actually the global practice in most cases, uh, you have to uh, highlight both uh, teaching and research. Okay, so in this, in this case, you have to provide balance, uh, discussion, activities for both teaching and research activities. And these are actually the global trend, but certainly sometimes uh, maybe you will be, your uh, uh, position is, for example, postdoctoral research fellow, research fellow. In that case, you can give more focus on uh, research. Of course, in our case, for example, even though we have research fellow, postdoctoral fellow, but they are also engaged for teaching. This is also university's uh, policy. <clears throat> 
so i have to focus what are the research strategies so i have uploaded a very attractive video also research strategy for early career researcher it is already there and this is one of the uh, most attractive videos so far in my youtube channel so i strongly suggest you to explore more about uh, this research strategy for early career researcher where to focus how to focus uh, more details i have provided there so i strongly suggest that please explore uh, that video again if you already have uh, watched that video <clears throat> So next step or next uh, point is that uh, you have to highlight your educational background. So uh, this is important because from where uh, you have taken your degrees, what is the ranking? As you know, these are very important phenomena nowadays. So if it is a ranked university, particularly within top 100, top 200, or top 50, uh, top in the country, all these things actually you also need to highlight uh, to impress the panel member that your educational background is from a reputable university, from a strong university. And also during your undergraduate, master's, PhD studies, probably you have some exceptional achievement recognition, such as distinction. So try to highlight all those distinctions if you have. Sometimes maybe your results are so good that you are listed in Dean's lead or you also got awards. So try to highlight all these things as strongly as possible. Maybe your CGPA was very high, for example, 3.9 out of four. Try to highlight these uh, unique things, the, these outstanding things. And also maybe out of 100 students, out of 50 students, you are among the top 10% or you are the top candidate, top students uh, for that uh, results try to highlight all these unique things, strong things, good things, positive things, you know, to entice or to attract, to impress the, the panel members. Of course, there may be some other things as well. Uh, try to highlight all those if you have, but please take note that there always will be time limitation. These are, I'm trying to put as many as possible, but in your case, you have to prepare, you have to get ready, you have to make trial also, so that you don't take too much of the time, okay? That is important. So the next point is the teaching. So as I highlighted, if focus is teaching, teaching try to explore, try to, try to highlight strongly as much as possible in this uh, teaching related activities. Certainly what are the subject courses you taught, uh, how this position, for example, you are, uh, you have applied for the position of mechatronics engineer, mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, or finance, accounting. So how many uh, uh, subject in that relevance areas you taught, this will be very, very useful, meaning that you already have enough experience in that area, in that subject, in that topics. Okay, so try to align, try to link your position towards the uh, your uh, previous experience that you have. Uh, here also, how many years of your experience? So if you have many years of experience, more years of experience, I think these are the things also. In a summary, you can highlight, I have 25 years of experience in this university, in the another university, uh, the top universities in the Middle East, top universities in Asia, and so on. Maybe you have worked in three different universities. Try to highlight all those diverse and unique experiences that you already gained. So of course you have to highlight also uh, your experience both at undergraduate level and postgraduate level if you have. Same time, at, at the same time, if you have also educational teaching awards, so you are involved in teaching. So as you can see, I have been involved in University of Malaya at Sanu University also uh, for PhD teaching. So this is one, in, if I am a candidate, I also will highlight that these are my teaching uh, recognition, teaching award. Uh, okay, so as I got this teaching award, so I highlighted here. Certainly, similarly, if you have also, please try to highlight these types of award, meaning that you are an outstanding candidate. You already have proven, you already have shown that uh, you got the, the, the uh, award recognition in teaching. Uh, <clears throat> this is very important, the unique feature of your teaching. So this is actually a very important question asked, particularly panel member, those who are 
uh, in the teaching area. For example, uh, uh, pro vice chancellor or deputy vice chancellor of teaching or education, he or she certainly will be asking about the teaching elements and particularly what is your teaching approach? What is something different you taught in your teaching? What you do for the students? Uh, something better, something effective, something unique. Okay, so this I will share in the next slide. This is very important. Students evaluation rating. So as you know, some good universities, I was in University of Malaya, here at Sano universities also, students evaluation ratings are important. These are also for promotional criteria. And this is how academicians take care of the students uh, matter, teaching, uh, many other things involved. So I'll give you one example of students evaluation rating. For example, out of five, you, you, you got 4.8, uh, outstanding evaluation. I think these are the things you need to highlight. This will tell, this will uh, uh, indicate the panel members that, okay, this guy is really very, very good. He has award, his student evaluation rating is good, he has something unique and so on. For example, in some administrative responsibilities, you are also program leader, you are in engineering accreditation council uh, member for uh, your program. So you did some additional administrative uh, leadership uh, uh, capabilities uh, contribution. So try to highlight all those things in relation to teaching. So certainly my focus is for uh, young researcher, lecturer, assistant professor, senior lecturer, postdoctoral fellow, and so on. Uh, uh, but however, this will be useful for higher level positions such as associate professor and professor. But please take note that based on my 25 years of experience, I was panel member of different recruitment uh, processes, professor, associate professor, lecturer, even distinguished position. So I know for higher level position, actually they will be asking about your leadership capability, okay? so. This leadership capability, for example, you are head of the center, you uh, are uh, leaders, project leaders, uh, you lead a big team, uh, funding, you are leader in your research area, for example, you are among the top 10%, you have, uh, uh, and so on. Okay, so in, 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 in teaching, for example, what leadership capability you have, you have to highlight that, okay? So here again, uh, time is limited, and I also have uploaded some other videos. Uh, excellence in teaching, what makes a great teacher? Uh, I shared my experience in relation with some other people's experience also. So uh, please explore for more details this teaching ex uh, excellence in teaching to uh, get few more points as well to show your uniqueness in teaching. So as I mentioned, uh, what is your uniqueness in teaching? For example, uh, this is uh, something uniqueness in my teaching, what I do, I always uh, specially take care of the students uh, learning whether they learn uh, appropriately enough, effectively or not. I try to get some feedback at the middle of the semester. Normally university practice is that feedback is at the end of the semester. That is not unique for me because you cannot apply the feedback uh, once it is done at the end of the semester. So uh, I normally do at the middle of the semester so that I can take the feedback and I can implement. I can share also uh, with the student that these were your uh, feedback input and now I have chance to implement for remaining weeks. Okay, so these basically I shared with many academicians, many places and everybody actually impressed and highlighted that this is actually best practice, this is something good practice, and this is actually the way how I improve my teaching and also how I can make students more happy and particularly I can make uh, uh, teaching uh, uh, more effective and enjoyable and with a lot of fun. Okay, so this is basically uh, for my PhD courses. These are some of the questions I develop based on the content, based on my philosophy, based on the skills needed, uh, level, depth, and so on. So I designed this questionnaire and I get the feedback. And one important element is the last one, open question, suggestion for improvement, okay? And uh, normally here they can openly write their uh, views, what are the additional things they are looking for, uh, you know, that will make this teaching effective. Sometimes I can see very constructive feedbacks are given and I try to implement all those immediately, okay? so. 
this is something unique features. One of the unique features is that I get their feedback and I implement them throughout the remaining uh, lectures. Okay, and normally students feel very happy and it becomes more uh, two ways uh, communication with the students because I am entertaining their uh, request as well. Uh, some of the things that they feel that these are important for their learning. Of course, as a lecturer, I'm not uh, perfect. So these are the ways basically we can improve. And also time to time, probably you also can highlight that I invited some other uh, best lecturer in my uh, lecture so that they also can give some input and feedback. And another unique things actually should be, you always should care the weak students. This is always my practice uh, through quiz and some, uh, you know, the attendance in different ways actually I identify some of the students are we can also in the lecture, in the class also, I can see they are not attentive. They are uh, during the class, they are using mobile. They are, you know, they're doing something else. So I can identify in different ways. And then I become a little bit friendly with them. I call them in my office. Uh, you know, I try to identify their problems, challenges, and then uh, accordingly, I can uh, take care of them. Similarly, like, you know, the doctors can diagnose a patient then doctors can actually advise what need to be done for the patient. So similarly, weak students uh, identify their problems, challenges, and try to be a little bit more friendly uh, with them and try to resolve their issues and uh, address what are the challenges they are facing. And sometimes it works. And in some cases, actually, there are students against stubborn. It does not work as well. But in this case, for your interview, you don't need to dig out so much detail. So highlight just your some of the unique things. So these are some of the unique things I practice. Maybe you have something differently. Certainly you should highlight all those. And I'm sure that uh, panel member will be impressed that you have some, something different compared to other uh, <clears throat> teachers or lecturers. Again, for uh, teaching strategies for early career researcher, uh, teaching and other elements, actually I have uploaded in my YouTube channel. Please explore for more details for your uh, future uh, preparation and also for you to pr practice so that you also can be a best lecturer. So now I'll be uh, focusing, I'll be discussing more about the research experience and recognition. So here you highlight as a briefly uh, summarized way so that you don't uh, take uh, uh, you don't take uh, too much time here. This is again another trick, another tips also. You have to present the summarized content, very important content, unique contents in a way that you can uh, present uh, within the time frame given to you. So for example, you are top 2% researcher or top 1% highly cited researcher. So highlight all those things. For example, you got a gold medal um, in, in some of the exhibition. Of course, uh, you have to be careful that gold medal, silver medal can be obtained, uh, you know, in non-reputable um, exhibitions. So you have to be careful in all those things, whether it is this medal is really uh, quality, organizers are good, or anyone can get gold medal. So you have to be careful, but as long as you got something, I think you still can highlight. And also grant is one of the important elements. So this is one of the important thing they will be looking for, how strong uh, capabilities you have in seeking in securing grant, as you know, to sustain university, to sustain yourself, to grow actually grants are very, very important. So this is the area where you have to give special emphasis, whether you have international, national, uh, internal funding inside the university, where you what all types of funding uh, you have, you applied, what is your position, uh, you are the PI or co-PI or member, how much, funding agency sources. So that's what I mean, international, local, internal funding. So each and every details as much as possible, particularly the amount international or local or where is your position. Normally, if you are a PI leading position, I think that will uh, be very, very good. This is where also uh, leading position is that you led many, many projects and successfully local project, international project, industrial project. So these basically will tell that you are a leader in research. So when you are looking for a position such as professor, I'm sure that you can highlight that this is your leading capabilities, leading uh, uh, responsibilities you played in, in grant application, in securing grant. 
I'm sure that by highlighting that leading capabilities, you will be uh, 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 you will get uh, probably the offer for higher position. Okay, so for higher level position, as I mentioned, you have to highlight uh, leading capabilities as highlighted here. So as you know, the in research, uh, postgraduate supervision, PhD and master supervision is very, very important. So here you highlight how many PhD students you supervise, they completed, how many uh, under uh, supervision, how many in, in intent to submit, how many is uh, uh, applied. So each and every details as much as possible with some numbers, completion, and what are their recognition also, some of them probably you know, uh, got uh, recognition. They also got top two percent. Okay, they also uh, develop patent. So some of their recognition and also highlight that this is a quality PhD. These few students and so on. How many master students you supervise? And of course, also uh, how many undergraduate students you supervise for thesis, capstone projects, and so on. And also highlight how many you are as a main supervisor and co-supervisor. Uh, uniqueness in supervision again. What is something different in your supervision in addition to teaching? So every uh, aspect, if you have something uniqueness, something different, I think these are the things actually you need to highlight. Again, here also, if there are student evaluation rating, for example, the PhD uh, level teaching, research methodology uh, teaching, or maybe some of the courses in some universities, there are courses, theoretical courses. So if there are also students evaluation, you got outstanding rating from the students' feedback. I'm sure that this will be something good elements and you need to hire. Again, the feedback form also, as I highlighted in previous slide for teaching, this can be for supervision as well. So some other things like you may have patent, prototype, product, uh, technology readiness level of your work. It's not only paper publication. Uh, this also should be highlighted if you have something. If you don't have it, you can escape. So since you uh, have experience, let's say 10 years, 20 years, or four years, or five years, so you are in some universities and they had this system of called key performance indicators. As you know, I was in University of Malaya, so for academicians, every year they have to go through this key performance indicators evaluation from January to December for uh, every academic staff actually has to go through uh, 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 annual performance on their teaching, research activities, contribution to the society, administrative responsibilities in these categories actually, you will be evaluated what are the activities, what you can contribute throughout the years. Based on that, you will be rated as in some university, they call it outstanding, achieved, uh, uh, achieved and inconsistent or below uh, expectation. Okay, they are, are rating, let's say, four or five ratings. So at San University, there are uh, ratings called outstanding, then exit, then achieved, and then inconsistent, and so on. So I was in University of Malaya. Normally, there are ratings in terms of percentage out of 100. Uh, what is your percentage marks you got? Uh, okay, so if you got 95%, if you got 80%, I think this reflects that your overall performance in teaching, research, contribution to the society, administrative responsibilities, and many other criteria may have depending on the universities. So this reflects that you are really an outstanding candidate. Okay, you are, your performance is already proven. Okay, so these are the things you need to highlight. Sometimes you may have all these good things, but you don't know. So this is basically the reason since I have gone through this process and I was the panel member and I was also interviewed in many places. So I know what are the unique things, good things you need to present to impress the panel member. So that's why I'm trying to highlight all these things. I'm sure that now your presentation, uh, your interview, you it can, it can be much more better with these elements. <clears throat> So this can be also sometimes you also contribute to the societies. Sometimes it may be five to ten percent elements in your KPI or in your uh, 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 performance. So this is not big matter. So that's why the, the percentage amount I highlighted. So for example, you are involved in donation of the poor, needy people, talented poor students, uh, orphans, homeless, elderly people. So this is your one of your unique contribution you are doing for the society. Try to highlight that. 
you are also contributing to the society. As you know, these are the novel things, uh, you know, society need community project, research, you are doing free teaching, education to others, you are mentoring, you are not taking any benefit, you know, yeah, because you are grown, you are excellent, you are outstanding. You are also trying to uh, share your experience to others. For example, I have developed my YouTube channel for the contribution to the societies and so on, mentoring a junior, an undergrad and others. Dissemination through social and other media, for example, you gave an online seminar on your expertise and so on. So these are the things whenever you have contribution, try to highlight also briefly. Okay, not uh, so much uh, each and every details. Okay, at least some contribution you made. You may have some other contribution. Uh, for example, you have uh, some other administrative responsibilities. Try to highlight all those if time allows. So there should be a PUSAR plan. So without a plan also, uh, they may not be enticed. So uh, this also will, 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 will uh, reflect that you are very much serious. You are really interested for that position. Okay, You have uh, deeply studied and now you are well prepared and you are really serious actually for this position. That's actually, that's why you have come out with this PUSAR plan. Okay, that may entice. Oh, okay, this guy is very serious. Okay, even he, have come out with the plan that is actually a th something aligned with our needs. Okay, make it attractive and align with the focus of the university. So a plan with the align with the university center department group supervisor. I'm sure that they will feel very very happy. Oh, okay, this guy has done the homework. This is the candidate actually we need. Okay, uh, attractive research proposal in the area of global grant challenges. Okay, so as you know, these are the strong thing global grant challenge areas meaning that this guy is actually aware of this uh, world standard world class research and so on okay and this topic is also looks very attractive and very niche area okay national area initial plan idea on publishing in science nature or top 10 percent so sometimes it may not be possible to science and nature but if you are prolific uh, research or authors but at least you can highlight that my intention is to publish in top 10 uh, percent journals so far I have in this area, but my intention is to raise my bar, okay? So uh, uh, I have a plan to publish in these types of journal, okay? List of few journals, okay, you can highlight. And particularly, it will be good if you can show some income generation plan idea. These are normally very weak academician researcher, but if you can come out, can come out with some of the plan that, uh, help to generate some income because this is actually the practice all over the world. Uh, you know, the uh, funding application, how you can generate income for sustainability of the center, research, universities, and so on. This is very important things. Sometimes these are missed at, at least if you are very good at grant consultancies, but some other additional things, unique things also, seminar, conferences, Mm, patent, loyalties, and so on. So I think you can highlight these things also. This is very important aspects. Uh, try to highlight that how you can generate some income. It is always good uh, before interview, make a practice. Practice makes us better, perfect. More you practice, more you will be. For example, you know, that I came from uh, my, uh, you know, the um, village, I was not able to uh, speak very well, but as you know, uh, now Alhamdulillah, I, I practice uh, again and again. I watch others' video. I watch also uh, other outstanding uh, outstanding speakers, uh, you know, uh, speech, YouTube channel, uh, contents, and so on. And I also learn from LinkedIn learning. This is how I practice. And Alhamdulillah, now I can at least uh, talk. I can share. Okay, so I feel that uh, I have substantially improved myself by practicing. It is always good to practice again and again. So prepare it and then uh, make a presentation in front of your um, wife, in front of your friends, in front of your lecturer, you know, ask them to give feedback. This is always the best practice. And particularly stick with the given time frame. Don't take more than the time given to you. I have noticed some panel members are very much serious about the time. If you cross it and they will ask them, you have uh, not fulfilled the one of the requirement. You have crossed the time given to you, meaning that you are not well disciplined. Okay, so that's why 
you have to make presentation you have to make practice so that you can finish in time okay your content also should be such that you don't cross the limit of time okay so now uh, I'm going to share something about our uniqueness of Sano University, Sano Education Group. So every year, actually, Sano University, Sano Education Group, uh, you know, the, the, this uh, student's satisfaction is evaluated by an external company that is called iGraduate, an international student barometer uh, measuring organization. They conduct survey all over the world in Asia and Malaysia as well. So as you can see, overall satisfaction rate of Sanu Education Group is extremely high, 94.3%. I can understand why, because Sanu Education Group has a lot of unique facilities, uniqueness, unique things, learning facilities, uh, academic recognition, uh, you know, the transportation, actually how many, I cannot tell each and everything. This is also a tourist area. Um, malls, shopping areas, whatever you need, you have each and everything. And uh, particularly Sano University, it's a, a brand new uh, resource uh, and teaching facilities. Many uh, of my collaborators, uh, Bangladeshi uh, people visited and when anyone visit actually, they feel impressed with the facilities built uh, at Sano University. Even our lab resource facilities visited by Harvard, Cambridge, Oxford, MIT, they are also impressed with the facilities that we built it here. That's why if somebody visits us here, they will really feel that uh, how good uh, in terms of many things, facilities, uh, qualities, and so on. Okay, so uh, those who are basically interested to study at Sano University, uh, I welcome to explore more about Sano University. And particularly since I am in engineering, uh, it is also a unique thing as you can see Sano Lancaster Engineering. Okay, so these are. Uh, very unique things for those who are uh, looking for higher studies. As you can see, Lancaster uh, University is a, one of the top university in UK. So we have partnership with them. So our engineering program, particularly our Bachelor of Engineering in Chemical Engineering and Electrical Electronics Engineering is partnered with Lancaster University. So you see the benefit. So you will get actually equivalent M engineering degree from Lancaster University by joining this program. Okay, so this is something exceptional uh, uh, uniqueness. Uh, I, I uh, suggest those who are interested to study, maybe your brother, sisters, uh, okay, your uh, friends, uh, you can recommend to explore more about Sano University. And since I'm here also for more than six years, I can see that uh, the, how stronger they are Yes, since I am here, but uh, uh, I can uh, understand, uh, I can talk more about Sano University. But you see the, the external evaluation of, from this I graduate FC, student satisfaction is 94.3%. That is actually the, the, uh, the outstanding and uh, Sano Education Group is number one in Asia. Okay, so uh, as many of you know, so I have uh, established this YouTube channel for your benefit. So please uh, share the content for others uh, benefit. So uh, around 27, 28 videos I have uploaded in research, teaching, uh, learning, uh, uh, excellence in teaching. So all these things for your benefit. Uh, so please explore at your uh, convenient time. Spend time, learn more effectively, and so on. Thank you very, very much for your attention, for your time. I hope this will be useful. May Almighty bless us all. Assalamu alaikum.